Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to clean install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC without using a USB drive. The video contains three acts. Installing Windows 11 on an unsupported PC and performing a clean install without using a USB stick. Additionally, I'll show you an easy way to use a local account. Let's begin. Before we begin, remember, a clean install deletes all system data. Always back up your files before performing one. Now let's get right into it. So we have a Windows 10 PC here. And from the settings app, we see a message that says the PC cannot run Windows 11. And using the PC EdCheck app, we can see why. The PC does not have TPM 2.0. Okay, let's go ahead and install Windows 11 on the PC anyways. First thing to do is download Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft website. Open your web browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. Click on the first link, which is the Microsoft website. On the upper section, you'll see the version of Windows you'll be working with. So we'll be downloading Windows 11 version 25H2. Now scroll down to the ISO section and click on select download and select Windows 11 and confirm. Now select your product language, I'll select English International and confirm. And then click on 64-bit download to start the download. The file is above 7 gig. Simply wait for it to finish downloading. Next, you create a 10 gig dedicated partition. You can do that while the ISO file is downloading. This partition will be used to store the ISO files. Open Disk Management. Right-click the Start menu and select Disk Management. You can also search for it in the search bar. Locate your main drive in the list, usually C. Right-click on it and select Shrink Volume. In the amount of space to shrink box, Enter 10 to 40, which is 10 gig. Then click on shrink. This creates 10 gig of unallocated space. Right click on this space and select new simple volume. Click next. Next again. And click on next. Now label your volume. Label it Windows 11. Install. Leave everything else as is and click on next and finish. Now we have a 10 gig dedicated partition. So if you go to File Explorer, this is the newly created dedicated partition. Now let's go back to our ISO file. It has finished downloading. Next, you need to transfer all the ISO files to this newly created partition. Locate your downloaded ISO file, right click on it and click on Mount. Open. This will open the ISO file like a virtual folder. Select all the files and folder inside this virtual folder and copy them. Then go to your dedicated partition and paste everything. Now, we are going to be launching the Windows setup from this partition. We will do so in the Windows recovery environment so next, you need to boot your PC into the Windows recovery environment. Open the Settings app. Go to Update and Security. Go to Recovery. And under the Advanced Startup, click on Restart Now. Now, click on Troubleshoot and Advanced Options and then Command Prompt. Next, you need to find your dedicated partition in this environment. We will use the disk part utility. So type disk part and enter. Then type list volume and enter. Now you can identify your dedicated partition from here. So this is our dedicated partition, Windows 11 install, and it's showing 9 gig even though it's 10 gig. So note the drive letter for this partition, here it's D. 
So now you can exit this part, just type exit and enter. Now it's time to launch the Windows setup. So type the drive letter of your dedicated partition and then column and enter and then type setup.exe and enter. This will launch the Windows setup. From this point, select your installation options accordingly until you get to the hardware compatibility error. Now the installation has given the hardware compatibility error. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements because of TPM 2.0. This is the point where you apply the hack. Press the Shift key plus F10. Now type the command shown on screen, which is reg edit to open the registry editor. Inside the editor, navigate to local machine and then system and then set up. We need to create a new key here. Right click on setup, click on new and then key. And then type this key exactly as you see it on screen. Lab config. Note the capitalizations. And then press enter. Select lab config and in the right panel, right click, click on new and select the word 32 bit value. Repeat that three more times. So now we have four D word 32 bit values. Now you need to name each of these values accordingly. Right click on the first one, click on rename, and give it this exact name shown on screen. Bypass TPM check. Please note the capitalizations. Right click on the second value, rename, give it this exact name. Bypass secure boot check. Right click on the third. Click on rename and give it bypass RAM check. Click on the last one, rename, bypass CPU check. These values are what is going to be used to bypass each of the hardware requirements. Finally, double click on the first, change the value data to one, and make sure the base is hexadecimal and click on OK. Repeat the same for the remaining three. Now close the registry editor. Once you're back to the error page, click on back, select your edition again, and then click on next. And now you are able to continue your installation. The hardware checks have been bypassed. Simply accept the license terms. In some installations, you'll be given the option to select your type of installation. We don't have that here. If you do, in order to perform a clean install, you need to select the custom install option. Okay, so let's continue with what we do have. So you need to select the location to install Windows 11. To perform a clean install, you need to delete all the existing Windows partitions until you regain your full system drive. Take care not to delete the dedicated partition because those contain your installation files. In my own case, this is disk zero partition four. So we will delete all the other partitions. Simply select each one and click on delete partition. So once all you have left is the zero unallocated space, select your primary drive and then click on next and then install. The clean installation will begin. Your PC will restart several times. Next, you need to configure your out-of-box experience. Again, follow the prompts accordingly and select the relevant option for your PC. Next, you select how you want to set up your device, either for personal use or for work or school. This is where you apply the trick to use the local account instead of Microsoft account. To do this, 
simply select the setup for work or school option even though the device is for personal use and click on next now instead of providing a microsoft account here simply select sign in options and then click on domain join instead now you can enter the name of the user of the device which translates to setting up a local account this trick works for Windows Pro and Aya. So I'll enter the username here and click on next. Then enter the password. For this demo, I will leave the password feed blank in order to save time. Adding password will lead to additional requests for security questions. Please ensure to use password on your device. So I will simply click on next. I'll be saying no to all telemetry data requests. Now it's installing updates. Since we are doing a clean install, it's recommended you let the update run instead of clicking on update later. This is so as to allow Windows to both install the needed OS files and also device drivers. And here is our brand new Windows 11 PC. So we have successfully bypassed the hardware restrictions and we also performed a clean installation without a USB drive. Now to finish, you need to perform two important post-installation operations. First, you need to check for and install missing drivers. Before checking for missing drivers, I recommend you first run Windows Update as this may fix your driver issues, if any. Simply go to Settings, Windows Update, and download and install all updates here. While this is installing, you can also go to optional updates and install the updates shown here if necessary. Okay, the installation has finished, but just to be sure, let's check for update again. Now, once that is done and you want to confirm if all the drivers are installed, then head to device manager. Simply right click the start icon and click on device manager. In device manager, look for any drivers with a yellow triangle, which indicates a missing or faulty driver. I don't have any of this here, so all my device drivers were successfully installed. But if you do have, simply visit the PC manufacturer's website and download the drivers from there. Windows also gives you the option to try reinstalling it automatically. Let's assume this particular component has a yellow triangle. Right click on the component, click on update driver, and then select search automatically for drivers. Finally, you need to clean up the dedicated partition you created earlier. Basically, you decide what to do with this partition. You can decide to keep it, simply delete the ISO files inside and then you can use the space to store other files. Alternatively, you can delete the partition and add the space back to your main drive. And that's how you perform a clean installation of Windows 11 on an unsupported PC without using a USB drive. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.